Hello, boys. Ahoy, matey. Notice the eye patch, did you? It's all part of a technique I've been studying for picking up women. You employ a visual display designed to make yourself distinctive and memorable. Oh, yes, like the male peacock with brilliant plumage, or the running baboon with engorged hindquarters. Or in this case, the bar mitzvah boy with pink eye. Mock me if you will, but it works. You show up at a club in something distinctive, scope out your target, and toss out some negs. What are negs? A neg is a negative compliment that throws a pretty woman off her game. Like, normally I'm not turned on by big teeth, but on you they work. <laughs> I got a whole list of them. Who wants to be my wingman? You're not gonna need a wingman. You're gonna need a paramedic. <laughs> Howard, your scooter's blocking my car. Oh, did you get pink eye again? Step one, she notices the eye patch. <laughs> May I say, Penny, not a lot of women could look as hot as you do with such greasy hair. <laughs> yeah, just move your stupid scooter before I pick it up and throw it in the dumpster. Ow. Thank God you're here. What's the emergency? I got the Mars rover stuck in a ditch. <laughs> Where? On a dusty highway just outside Bakersfield. Where do you think? On Mars! Hey, Howard, is everything okay? Yeah, baby, I'll be right in. <laughs> you brought a girl to the Mars rover control room? Yeah, I picked her up in the bar. She's a doctor. One free barium enema, and my mother won't care. She's not Jewish. <laughs> Wait a minute, so the eye patch and the insults worked? No, there were three other guys with eye patches. It was a fiasco. <laughs> what did work was, how'd you like to visit a secret government facility? So what exactly do you want us to do? I need you and Raj to help me get the rover out of the ditch, and I need you to get Stephanie out before somebody notices she's here. She doesn't exactly have clearance. Really? They don't let strange women from honky-tonks come in and play with $200 million <laughs> government projects on distant planets? Yes, I was bad. Maybe she'll spank me. Can we please move on? Hey, Howard, you know, it's getting late, so do I get to drive this thing or what? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but something's come up. Kind of a Mars rover... Mars rover, can Howard come over... <laughs> situation. So my friend Leonard is gonna take you home. Oh, okay. Let's go, friend Leonard. Okay. I'll call you. Yeah. So, are you a scientist like Howard? No one's a scientist like Howard. <laughs> My mother is so gonna love her. Well, how nice. Maybe they can carpool when they visit you in federal prison. <laughs> oh, sorry. I totally interrupted you. What, what, what were you saying? Just that Howard's a terrific guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor. Mm -hmm. He loves his mother mm -hmm. a lot. Some people say too much. I really like that you're such a loyal friend. Yeah, I am loyal. You know, if you look at the big picture. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, did he ever have a shot with you? Are you insane? The guy was wearing an eye patch. <laughs> Then why did you... He said that I could drive a car on Mars. Got it. Yeah. So, can I see you again? You're not done seeing me now. Mm. Cool. <laughs> Let me ask you something. If your friend thinks he's dating someone, but he's not because, in fact, you're dating her, does that make you a bad person? Well, that depends. On what? Is that friend Wallowitz? <laughs> yeah. Screw him, you're fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, have you slept with her yet? You dog! 